Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I hope you guys are all doing great this morning or whenever you're watching. And uh, I've been playing with black and white and black and white and a black primed canvas. And I have another one. It was a two pack from Michaels of 12 by 24 inch canvases. I have some Anita's white metallic, I believe it is. And I would like a whole lot more of that out of there than it's coming come out. I don't need that to take so long. I need new skewers and I have not been good at giving myself what I need lately. In any case, the black and white turned out pretty cool. I had black metallic in there too, which was kind of different. This time I'm going to do a little bit more of one, a little bit less of the other. I kind of thought about adding some from the back to see how that worked. And if I like what I have, that's one thing. But if I don't, what I really, really want to do is go ahead and add gold and or silver. So I'm, I'm constantly reminded as I do this of how interesting black and white can actually be. And I'm very happy to have been encouraged to do more by somebody who was just recently watching one of my other 430 videos. Thank you very much. <laughs> so if you like what I do, go right ahead, find some more. There's, really? There's quite a bit of it. <laughs> I appreciate all you guys' support too, by the way. Thank you for all the kind words and comments, those of you who watch all the time. You are appreciated and well loved, you know that, hopefully. So. Seems like I did not set my timer. So I'm going to give myself. Where's my canvas? Ha! I'm always complaining about dead air when my husbands were doing exhibitions, show and tells, I call them, of my dry artworks. You can find them on exhibitions. I think there's another playlist called Exhibitions or something very similar. In any case, I want to do something simpler, and I can use black gesso to cover this later. I want some more white at the beginning of that, because that's the first thing that's coming out of that dustpan. And maybe, just maybe, a little more black too. I'm using the larger of my two dustpans. I usually get them at the dollar store, but this one came with a little kitchen broom a long time ago. I'd like the paint on the front to be even. And I'm hopeful that if I'm slow enough and pull gently enough that I might actually make the other end of this canvas. But I think it won't hurt anything if I let everything pool and run anyway. What I can do is use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. shove some paint right down. Twice even. You could probably do this with any kind of spatula if you needed to. Okay, so that is not nearly as compelling as I was hoping it might be. So I'm going to take an edge catcher. That's a huge edge catcher. Um, I'm going to take a smaller edge catcher, even the one with holes in it, let the paint run down. Hopefully there's enough paint. It doesn't look like I have enough paint really and truly. But if I let it run down and hit the edge catcher and pull, I can squeeze it onto the end and send it back the other way. And black and white often sells together when it's agitated. So I'm just going to let it run a bit. And then I'm going to add my gold and do some swiping and see what happens because as chic and unique as this is, it's, uh, it's
it's lacking a little something that I want. And I'm just going to keep letting it allow it to flow. And I will remember next time I do this to make sure. Oh, I have something big on my canvas. What are you thinking? Goodbye, thing. All right, so before I let anything flow anymore, I think I'm just going to. See what happens when I add my gold to various places and let it run a bit. And I suspect this is going to work nicely. I'm pretty happy with that so far. I got to be a little careful. Wow, that is not what I expected to see when I pulled off a silver top. All right, the silver is very similar to the gray that's being formed, so I'm not too overly concerned with that staying as anything that interesting. But I am going to go right back to my gold. And play with that some more. If I have to drip on my canvas, I will. And it's possible that if I use the uh, torch, which I do anyway to release air bubbles in the paint, that I might release a few cells. I kind of want to go down to this end now, but I'm a lot nervous about doing it. I don't know why. I should be nervous. I shouldn't be nervous. I can put skewers in here, and I can also use my, uh, my silicone spatulas and or chain. Whether I want to actually do that or not is a question I cannot answer yet until I tip some more. You've got to be careful of the quantity you put of anything anywhere because if you're tipping it's liable to go wherever it wants to go if you're not keeping good enough track of it. Just take advantage of the natural formations without dripping too many places, hopefully. Yeah, I just hit my edge there. I can add spirals, but I can also add black. That's not bothering me. I'm kind of liking it, actually. I can't do anything with the black on the matte black background because I don't think it will show up as well as I'd like it to. I'm kind of liking the idea of adding a little silver now more than I did when I started. I'm not sure about that spiral. <laughs> That's not really what I was planning. And I still have a few skewers hanging around. And I love waggling skewers. I really do. Makes great patterns in the paint. I want to keep some rest areas in the black, but I also really like the drama that's going on there. Pretty simple, but I like it. I don't often let myself get too simple. Yeah, this is fun. It is what it is. Somebody wants us. Well, they're not going to get us right now anyway. <laughs> I'm a little dizzy.
just trying to follow what my eye is demanding I pay attention to. Make some interesting marks. I don't know if I want to do that much more to this. It's pro it's it's just I don't know, sleek might be the wrong word, but chic rhymes with sleek, right? <laughs> Great scarf, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. In fact, I'm happy with that. I still want some more. I still want to keep adding some things to to balance out stuff. And I think a few of these silver lines I'm not unhappy to have, especially since I had a mark I needed to get rid of in the corner of that canvas. Yep, I like that. I've got plenty of time. That's nice. I am kind of learning slowly but surely to relax into the amount of time that I have given myself and have some fun without freaking out too much. Yep, I'm happy with that. I think I'm going to do it again on the other side. Yep, I'm liking that a lot. Almost done, which means I should think about what I'm supposed to tell you. And I get confused after I make a couple of videos and I forget whether I've told you that there's 430 videos and that you might want to watch some others if you like these. And we have well over 45,000 subscribers. Thank you all. Thank you all for the contributions that have kept me painting all this time. I really appreciate that. And those of you who've done so before know you'll be entered in a contest where you can win one of three artworks I allow myself to give you a choice of. I don't want to talk too much and lose track of what I'm doing because I still have some time. There are Facebook albums below the video in a description at the very bottom along with uh, Pinterest and Instagram. So far, I am having a ball. I recommend this. Maybe some caution is good. Um, not sure that was the perfect thing to do there. I don't mind a few spirals here and there. I love spirals. I will probably always do spirals, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, what else do I need to tell you? My paint pouring recipe is underneath video in the description. The Amazon link will take you to the book because I can and we're getting ready for paperback edition. Hopefully. Knock on wood. Please. Uh, the ebook is still is available there now. And I believe if you have Kindle you can get it in other countries than the United States. Not a problem. But I don't have enough information to, to share that with you. Let you know how it goes. I kind of want some dots in there. I think I'm just going to let the dots fall where they may. With some help. Yeah, a few dots isn't hurting my feelings a bit. Same with the black. I just draw the eye. You have to be careful with the wind because I'm outside. What else have I forgotten to tell you? I do sell my artwork. If you're interested, just contact me. Leave me a message and I'll let you have my email and we'll talk about it. There are exhibition videos on YouTube showing a lot of my dry artwork from, uh, from the videos and other, other places as well. Gallery tours of the house. I am pretty darn close to being as happy as I need to be with this, other than to torch and see what happens, and I don't think a lot is going to happen. 
but you never know. Some things might happen, and that would be all right with me. I should look at my crib notes and see if there's anything else I forgot. Uh, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> oh yeah, ring the bell if you want to. If you subscribe, ring the bell. You have a better, much better chance of getting notifications. Although I don't promise, because YouTube's been doing some strange changes. Um, every time I think I'm done and I put my bottle down, I see something else I want to do. And the skewer works very nicely like that. And if I can put black and gold, I can put gold and blue. <laughs> I can put gold and black. Okay, well, I guess I can. And I, maybe I can. So I put some of that right on the bamboo skewer and give that a shot. It may or may not stay. Chances are it might disappear. I never did torch. Whoa, I got things blowing everywhere. Oh, stay. Oh, All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I see that thing that's bothering me. There's still some paint. Give it a bit of a torch, see if we can release any bubbles in the paint. It's a pretty simple technique. It's not the same as anything else. We are getting some cells popping. They're small. The more you agitate the paint, the more likely you are to get cells. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paints to keep my paint from cracking when I leave it thick, like it is now. I want to say thank you again to everybody who contributes, and thank you guys all for the nice comments that you keep my morale up, and uh, I want to tell you I love you like I always do, because I do. I love you guys. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. No, I need black there. <laughs> yep. Perfect timing. Do I want a little more? I probably do, and I have a minute to do it, too. I love that thin stream that's coming out of there. It's great. I don't know how to tell you how to make that happen for real. I think I could play with this for a long time, but um, I'm trying to be okay with it the way it is. Yeah, I'm going to try and be okay with it the way it is. All right, you guys, take care. Let's see if I can zoom you in. not that elaborate but it's pretty chic. I'll talk to you soon. Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying see ya. Priscilla out for now. <laughs>